Hi, my name is Gabby Fujita and I'm part of the UCLA Phi Psi 121 course on Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy. Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy, or DMD, is a muscle wasting disease caused by a mutation on the X chromosome. This results in a lack of a functional protein called dystrophin in muscle cells, which allows the muscle cells to be easily damaged and weakened. Often, physical therapy is thought of when you think of a muscle wasting disease, but another really important treatment is occupational therapy. Occupational therapists focus on improving the quality of life by helping navigate everyday functions. While there are many facets to occupational therapy, today we're going to focus on ways to conserve energy and make daily tasks easier. A great way to conserve energy is by following the five P's. Plan, prioritize, pace, position, and posture. When you plan ahead, you can cut out the extra steps and save energy. Here are some helpful hints. Try to plan the amount of activities in each day that you know you can complete without getting too tired or short of breath. Put activities with high priority at the beginning of the day when you have more energy, and put activities that can be pushed off towards the end of the day when energy begins to fade. Pacing yourself is essential because you want to give yourself enough time to get from place to place. You want to know the best routes to take, especially if you're in a wheelchair and you don't want to be moving too quickly as to prevent muscle damage. Lastly, positioning and posture. You want to make sure that all of your muscles are supported in any activity that you're doing. Boys with DMD can develop spinal problems fairly quickly once they stop walking. Good postural management is pertinent to slow down the rate of spinal curvature. It's important that the child has supportive seating, whether that be in a chair or a wheelchair. This provides pressure relief and can reduce injuries. In this image, you can see that the chair firmly supports the woman's back and her feet are planted flat on the ground. This wheelchair allows for neck support and also has a special seat cushion that helps support the hips. Another important aspect of daily life is school. One great way to reduce the risk of contractures and energy expenditure is converting from a regular backpack to a rolling one. Make sure that the student has a set of textbooks at school and at home as to minimize the amount of weight carried. You want to minimize extension to prevent muscle damage. One way to do this is to have a reacher tool on hand. Another technique is to set up the room to make it easy to access items. This can be done by putting a bookcase and a nightstand close to the bed. Dressing oneself can also become difficult. To help with this, buy shirts that are baggy, lightweight, with a wide neck opening. Pants should also be easy to put on and have wide ankles and comfortable seams. Lastly, there are different tips you can use to make eating easier. One is using lightweight cutlery to reduce pressure on the wrists. Plate guards are a great way to help keep food confined when it becomes difficult to control your hands. Closed water bottles with straws also make drinking more manageable. Thank you so much for listening to my video about occupational therapy and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I hope you were able to learn some techniques to conserve energy and prevent muscle damage.